Hurricane Nate continues to accelerate to the north and the west across the Gulf of Mexico, but we will not see any direct impacts here in north central Florida. We could still see a few showers and storms though this evening, so if you do have any of those post game plans, you could see some wet weather going into the evening. Already a few showers moving to Gainesville, Lake City, even Ocala, but heavier rain is to come. We are going to see some outer bands from Nate start to move in this evening. The heaviest of the rain is not going to move in until about 7 o'clock. We will see some showers developing before then, but it's not going to be until around 7. We are going to see some of those heavy rain bands starting to move in. So from this line just east of Perry all the way to Ocala, some heavy rain is definitely possible. And that will move into Gainesville, potentially some very heavy rain by 8 o'clock in all of Alachua County and this will continue to move to the north but still we could see some showers and even some storms until about midnight. Now some of this heavy rain could arrive a couple hours earlier depending on the forward speed of Nate since it is accelerating to the north and the west closer to the Louisiana shoreline. Now we do have heavy rain possible here tonight after the game. We have an 80 percent chance of rain and some of that could be very heavy at times ending by 9 p.m., maybe even later, depending on how fast these bands move in and just as how much rain we could see from them. Now, with Hurricane Nate, it is supposed to be a Category 2 when it makes landfall somewhere near the Mississippi-Alabama border. We could see some hurricane and tropical storm force winds extending to the panhandle, but we're not going to see any of the winds from the storm impact us here in north-central Florida. We do, however, have a threat along the nature coast for some water level rise. We have storm surge potential of one to three feet along the coastal areas here. So that means we could see some water level rise leading to some coastal flooding, especially along the nature coast. This is vulnerable coast. This is actually a vulnerable coastline to that flooding. One to three feet could cause some minor coastal flooding. So be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the storm's progress and to keep up. With Hurricane Nate, you can download the Florida Storms app for your Apple or Android device and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.